Finger. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. There we go. Seems a pleasant enough little place. That's it. On another adventure, are we?
Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible, perhaps before you leave here. Arrest them. That's it. Keep it up. Arrest the momentum. Repulsa. Arrest the momentum. Well done. You are on your way to mastering Arresto Momentum. Professor, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? In class, I heard you mention the Toyohashi Quidditch team. I did. The Toyohashi Tengu are from Japan. Dominant, known for their rigorous training. They practice near the Mahutokoro School of Magic, often battling both tempestuous seas and violent storms in addition to each other. Tournament play is almost always easier for the Tengu than their training sessions. I take it you're a fan. Fan? <laughs> I was being groomed to play on their team. And I would have been a Tengu, if not for a bit of bad luck. I know that feeling. Some things are simply out of our control. Mm, and some things are in it. I should have known better. I made my own luck. I was betrayed by someone I trusted. Myself. I did not see clearly and I paid a dear price. My best friend Asuka and I were being groomed to play on the team together. I as keeper and she as chaser. She was breathtaking. She once corkscrewed through three players and scored before they even turned their heads. But as tryouts for the Tengu got closer, she panicked. I did not realize the extent of her panic until it was too late. She wanted so desperately for both of us to play together that she had slipped Felix Felicis into our tea before we were to show them our skills. Liquid luck. That's illegal, isn't it? It is indeed. I knew within minutes that something was different. I had never played so well. And Asuka was playing more beautifully than I had ever seen. When I confronted her afterwards, she admitted what she had done. I withdrew from consideration immediately. But it wasn't your fault. You didn't know about the potion in the tea. It does not matter. My flying that day was not my own. I could not live with myself. So, I withdrew and explained to them why. I burned my broom in disgrace. What happened to Asuka? Did she burn her broom as well? Asuka played for the Tengu for two seasons. You didn't report her? Tell them what she'd done? Her fate was not mine to decide. My fate is in my hands, as your fate is in yours. Thank you, Professor. I shall remember what you've told me. Arrest her, Momentum!
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawen. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. To see you again. Farewell for now. Come on in, come on in. Oh, not so fast. You need to tread carefully in here. <gasps> Venomous tentacula. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. than Hogsmeade. Hello. Be with you in a bit. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with.
Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Hmm. 
Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defendo. I... And that of everyone else. Defender! Akio! 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 Heeds instruction. Good for you! Incendio! Akio! Defender! As I mentioned earlier, the Defender is the first power but dangerous. Incendio! Akio! Glixis! Defolta! Levioso! Arresto Momentum! Akio Defendo Incendio Akio Incendio Brilliant. Your field guide? I'm most pleased to be included. Incendio! Things you should. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. Incendio.
Revelio. Nice to see you, my young friend. Who lived here, I wonder? Over here. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we apparate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. <laughs> Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. Well done. Bring me a dozen humans to battle. I'll take them all. Run the other way when they see me, humans do. Every time. There's a crap on you are. One of the best meals I've ever eaten. Rebellion.
Rebellion. Rebellion. Let me also. Arrest the momentum. Rebellion. 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 Incendio. Orders directly from Ranrock. These orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. What names? And I will here? draw blood. You explain the stench. Looks like we found the entrance. Rebellion. It's locked. An unlocking charm. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle.
I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. A reservoir of ancient magic, downstairs, near the entry. I've seen this before, in Gringotts and the Restricted section. Must have done something. Best have a look around. Traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Rebellion!
look familiar. Levioso! Accio! statues. on both sides of the archway. Something must be different.
that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Accio. these floors. Good 
Incendio. 
What a relief. Revelio. Another pensive. Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The trout was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts. Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood. I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here.
more crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fick. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter. Of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think that there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now... Tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest. I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. Incendium. Best time for the history of magic.
I should ask so. I've got spectacular news. The broom upgrade's ready. Ha! Stop by the shop when you can. I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. Meet, here I come. Greetings. Please take your time looking about. You have a good head for business, haven't you? Say I don't keep it stuck. In the market for potions, are we? A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I must tell you, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again.
It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Unicorn blood will keep you alive. Off to the races. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, this day's gone on too long. Would you mind helping a wizard in distress? What is it? What's wrong? Goblins! That's what. Ranrock's lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. You're right. The world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here, use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> and I've you to thank. Please, accept this gift in exchange for your help. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? Hello. It's not often I see how good students are during the school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service, and I sell a variety of travelling necessities. What do you have for sale? Let's have a look, shall we? So nice of you to stop by.
Hello, nice to meet you. I'd like to ask you about your shop, if you don't mind. Certainly, that'd be fine. What would you like to know? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Glad you were able to stop by. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. Oh, yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. I should look into the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Revelio! Why are there so many vases around here? I suppose I should try to find all the vases. Revelio. Good for you. I think there should only be a few more vases. Rebellion. I'm nearly finished. One more vase. Rebellion. That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened.
send it. Incendio. Confringo. 
mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Well done! Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the second best Slytherin. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? Of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. While they sit around and hope to be the best, I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them, and I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. I'd say that was acceptable. <laughs> close, but not close enough. Getting the hang of this. Oh, now that's more like it. I'd say that was acceptable. Proved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, 
you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Watch it. Another successful flight. You should let Mr. Weeps know. Do you think anyone has found every secret path? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. Thank you again, truly. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. I saw what you did! Hello there. Nice to Hello, see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <laughs> He's a friend. It seems as though you are... I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But... <sighs> He recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lodgok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Revelio.
Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Welcome to the Og's Head. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No. Actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. the castle. You too, Amit. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Erdgott. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Rebecca, dreadful looking place, isn't it? Off on another adventure. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Rebellion. It's sealed. Accio! Incendio! Huh? 
moths. Curious. Rebellion. Merlin's beard. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Lumos. Rebellion. I have a feeling I'm not alone here.
Lumos. Rebellion. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Lumos. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Down I go. No other way. Rebellion. Confringo. Accio. Rebellion. Sealed shut from the other side. <laughs> Incendium. Rebellion.
Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Depulsor. Lumos. 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 Wingardium Leviosa. Also. Lumos. The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in a dead. Better show this to Lodgok. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Lord Gok. The sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn! They got here first! We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic.
de oro. Finish the job. Expulsion! Potato! Stupid! Don't stand a chance against me! Expulsion! Can bring her! What are you for, John? Expulsion! Defender! Expulsion! Incendiary! will be expulsion! And no one to share in my victory. This is for Rockwood! Oh, what's the light go out of your eye? Akio! Telling what lies in wait for me in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah. Then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned.
Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. I hope those. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Renai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? There will be hardship, I'm sure of it. But I see triumph in the end. A measured perception. Very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. And that is why such futures are worth striving for. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. You have it! Now, why not... A new spell on the training dummy. Akio! Descender! Excellent! I think you have it. <laughs> Arrest on the Descender! At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test outside of the classroom. Descender!
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or shapeshifter, if you will, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigoises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? What are you up to now? Reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your 
daring do against those trolls in Ogsmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Hello, Homura. Disillusionment chance. No one claps eyes on you. Area of the castle after all. Revelio. 